Shalom. I'd like to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakar Kodash, and double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Hey brothers, I had this thought that came to mind before um I went into this grocery store here. Well, it's actually it's actually a plaza. It's actually a plaza. You know? Um several businesses are around in this plaza. But I was actually thinking about this yesterday. Um but the thought is the message I want to convey is that's, there's going to come a time where we will not be able to buy, sell, and trade unless we had the MOTB. And there's always been much controversy around the MOTB and what it was or what it is going to be exactly. I'm sure many of you might have heard it was at one point it was white women, another point it was embargo. Another point, it was it was it was it was uh, um, sin. Yeah, recently I heard that it was sin. So what I did, <laughs> so what I did just as a mental challenge for myself, you know, bef before I left the house, right? I, I took a grain of rice with me today. But something else, something else I want to show you, brothers, is that well, we know who this guy is. But I'm gonna get back to that in a second, just to tie it into this lesson. But, but the reason I took the grain of rice with me is because I wanted to understand that nothing in this kingdom is worth our salvation. Nothing that this kingdom has to offer is worth our salvation. Whether it's decapitation, death, starvation, whatever the case may be, it's not worth us losing our salvation and us not getting the kingdom of heaven. And besides, if the spirit is on you, the spirit is working with you, as the scripture says, the elect shall not be deceived. So no matter what occurs, we won't be deceived. All right. So as you can see, I have several. The reason I brought the grain of rice with me was for this reason. First, I wanted to show you what, what the RF di, RFID chip is. OK. I like this picture here because Revelations, I think, is 20. Um, it says if anyone takes the MOTB in his hands. Um, you have to look it up. And it's, it says in his mark in his head or in his hands, plural, in either hand, right? Okay. But the well, but what the 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 scripture is exactly escapes me. I, um, I think it might be Revelations 21. Uh, I think it's Revelations 20. But nevertheless, let me come back. Let me come back to where I was. Um, so. The reason I brought this grain of rice with me today, let me let me get, get this squared away real quick. It's because I wanted to literally let me hold the camera there. Pardon me for a second, brother. Pardon me for a second. Let me put it where I want it and then put the camera back on my hand. Right? And this is what I wanted to do. You know? Is is the grain of rice worth it? And the answer is absolutely not. You real? You know? Because we have to consider there's gonna be many of us or some of us who faith is not as strong as others, but but we have to endure to the end. And when they roll this thing out, man, you're gonna to have to understand that it might be you sitting in the parking lot, starving with your family, outside of a grocery store, outside of a business, you know? And this is where your faith has to kick in. You're going to be looking at the store. Your stomach might be touching your back. And this might even happen to me. And the scripture says, blessed are those who die in faith, man. We have to die in this thing. Because we know, according to scriptures, what's waiting for us. Right? The scripture says, on his right hand, there's riches forevermore. Immortality, the kingdom. You have people out here who still don't believe. You know, we have the digital currency approaching as well. All of it's being set up now, but you have to remember that it's all a test. It's all a test, man. Okay? Something I wanted to go to, now I'm sure you got the point, is what Bishop Nate said. This is how you know this man, he's going to have a lot of blood on his hands, and he's leading many astray. Because as it states in the Apocrypha, many... There were evil men that came out of Israel. This is evil as hell to say this, man, and to teach this. You understand? 
I know a lot of cats might look up to Bishop Nate, man, but he is a nigga for, for saying this, for teaching what he's teaching, man. And who are me? Who am I? I'm nobody. You know, I'm just I'm just a humble man of the Lord. And hopefully I'm I'm of the elect. But nevertheless, let's listen to what he has to say. Hold on, hold on, brothers, because I got, I got, um, uh, let me see, let me take this out real quick. Hold on one second, one second, bear with me a moment, because I, I remember that it doesn't, I just remembered that um, when I have the earbuds in, the vocals won't pick up on the, um, on the actual video that I'm recording. All right, so let me do this. What is the mark of the beast? Sin. Oh, very good. Thank you. I thought you were going to say something else. We'll run that back. Now, I'm asking another question. It's an easy question. If the mark of God, the seal of God is the law, what is the mark of the beast? That's sin. Oh, very good. Thank you. I thought you were going to say something. You see, if you believe that, as many of the apostles and the elders and the big brothers have broken down already, you know, the scripture says all have sinned. So do we have the mark of the beast now? and fall short of the glory of Yahweh, right? See, it's, it's, it's a stupid ass lesson, man. And to be frank with you, this man is too old, but see, he has demons on him. And if the spirit is working with you, you'll understand, man, that the karagma is going to be something implanted inside of you. Listen to what, let's listen to what else. Let me finish this up real quick. Mouse. I thought he was gonna come out with a microchip. I said, if this guy comes out with a damn microchip, but anyway, brothers, the day is coming, and even I know it too as well. And I pray that the Lord, and this is me not boasting. This is just me being honest with you as beloved brothers and sisters. I pray the Lord put the Spirit on me and you to persevere until the end, you know? Because we know that the kingdom is waiting for us. Be faithful even unto death. Shalom.